five dollar tattoos i'm in guys i hate this tattoo Hey, it's H.A. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, my name's Hilary Jane. I'm a Christian pop and hip hop artist. I sing and I rap and I have a YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Today, I want to answer a question that many of you have been asking for like years and I haven't done it yet. What tattoos do I have? I have seven of them. What are they? What's the story behind them? Why do I have them? What's their meaning? La 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 la. Disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. This is not a video of me theologically um, explaining or defending why I do believe Christians have the freedom and the Christian liberty to get tattoos, as long as they glorify Jesus. Um, this is not that, so if you're looking for that, this ain't it. Okay, let's go. My first tattoo I ever got is on my finger, and it says, Savior. I've gone over this tattoo four times, and the A and the R will not stay to save my life. Finger tattoos really don't stay that well. If you're thinking that you wanna get a finger tattoo, that's all great and dandy, but it might be a waste of money, and this was the most painful tattoo that I got because it's right on the bone. So really think about it, maybe put it somewhere else. I got the word savior on my ring finger because I was 18 years old, um, I was really like wanting to walk with the Lord and this finger if you don't know the reason why we put our wedding band here This is the only finger with like a vein that runs to your heart or something like that. I don't know So I was like Jesus runs to my heart. So I don't know 18 year old HJ got this this bird I actually they're matching tattoos, but I didn't get them at the same time I probably got them like five months apart. So I got this tattoo first on the left. I got the bird because it, it's not profound, it's not special, okay. Every Friday the 13th, which I know Christians right now across America are going, oh, Friday the 13th. Okay, every Friday the 13th, it's kind of like a tradition that tattoo shops will do super cheap tattoos, but it'll be like, you can only pick through these ones. So I literally saw a sheet of $25 tattoos and I was like, $25 tattoos? I'm in. So I saw this bird and I was like, I love it. It's the most normal one on there. It's so cute. There's no reason. I just thought it was really dope. I wanted something on the back of my arm. Um, and I really liked it. It was $25, guys. $25. So I jumped on that. It's okay just to enjoy things for the sake of enjoying things. God wants us to enjoy our life. As long as we're not doing something that is sinful or taking away from his glory, it's okay to just like something because you like it. It doesn't have to have a deep meaning. So my birds are just dope. I love them and they don't have any meaning. And then that was the year that Friday the 13th actually came twice that year. Other Friday the 13th and I got a bird like flip to match for this arm. He didn't use the same yellow color ink. So one's like a yellow and one's like a gold. They're my... Uh, not identical twins, what are they called? Fraternal, fraternal twins. I have this tattoo, it says B-H-T-H-F-H. And if you look up Colossians 1, 15 through 20, it said it means by him, through him, for him. Um, everything was made by him, God, through God and for God's glory. So this is just like a summarization of Colossians 1, 15 through 20. Guys, I hate this tattoo. Like. I really do not like this tattoo. I don't like it because it's really crappy line work. The dude tried to tell me like, oh, I'm doing like a water color effect where it's not really, you can't really see it. And I was just like, what did this dude just do to me? And you know, I was a little prideful in the beginning, so I wasn't gonna say anything. I was like, yeah, I love this. I'm 18 and I make all the great decisions and I love everything I do, so I'm not gonna address this. And I'm 25 and I'm like, yo, this has got to go. I don't know if you can see this. I'm actually going to be getting roses around it. I've been talking to my husband about this for four years, people. I've been wanting to get roses around this for four years, and I'm actually going to do it. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to do a full cuff or a half cuff where it just goes half C's around it. Um, but I need some beautification because it ain't cutting it. Okay, then I got, oh yes. So I went with my cousin Kathy, and we got matching anchors. And this is for your typical white girl Christian tattoo, which is like, what is it? Hebrews 9, 16, I think it is, um, where it talks about uh, hope is the anchor for the soul. And I was actually like visiting my dad at that time up in Idaho, and he was just like, an anchor, really? Like, that's so dumb, I don't know. But I loved it. These ones I got together, so I actually got this cross right here, which has deep meaning for me. 
Um, I really wanted that every time I grab the microphone and you take a picture of me or whatever it may be where I'm singing, I want it to be like I'm singing for Jesus. I'm a really big advocate about being like I'm a Christian artist. I'm not just an artist who's a Christian, I am a Christian artist. So I know it's like a big thing in the CHH community where it's like I'm a rapper who's a Christian, I'm not a Christian rapper. And that's fine, I don't fully understand it but I don't hate the idea. Um, but personally, I am a Christian artist, so this is important to me and this kind of symbolizes that But they wanted to charge me $50 for two lines on my arm and I get it. You know, there's a minimum I'm taking their time. They got to get the plastic out. They got to get the needle out and all that I get it, but personally, I think I was like 20. I was like, I can't pay $50 for two lines on my arm So, you know, I cut a deal. I'm always trying to cut a deal guys. I went to the dude. He had done my birds um, and I was like look since you're already gonna have the needle out and it's super simple, can I get a diamond on my finger? And at first he was kind of hesitant, like, mm, and I'm just like, come on, you're doing two lines, like, <laughs> spice it up. And he was like, okay, fine, that's cool. I'll do the tattoo on your finger and then I'll do this. This also has no meaning. There was honestly a time in my life where I felt like as a Christian, I had to explain myself away. I had to make a meaning like, oh, because you know, I was a diamond in the rough, but Jesus is sanctifying me and he's making me into his image. That's great if that were the truth. The honest truth is I just wanted a hand tattoo and I thought it was dope. And it's okay again to just do things that you like for the sake of enjoyment, as long as you're not sinning and you're not going against the Lord. I'm not getting like, I don't know anything weird but yeah there's a story and the meanings behind it if you guys have any questions or anything to say comment below i do know the theology behind why i do believe christians have that freedom to get tattoos i don't know if i want to make a video about it i've been going back and forth possibly will if you guys let me know you want to see that below i love you guys um tell me about what tattoos you have or if you want to get them or what you think about them we don't have to agree on the same thing um, I would just caution you as a believer not to um, impress your own boundaries you've created yourself onto other people whenever it is not a sin issue. If you don't want it, that's fine. But Jesus don't care if I got it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and bye. Only real by my side. Get a crown when you die. Only if you arrive. Get the truth now or later.